Congratulations on your new Power Optimal Elon 100 Solar Photovoltaic Water Heating System. This brief instruction video will provide you with the basics of how the Elon 100 system works and how to use it so that you can enjoy decades of free solar power in your home. At the simplest level, what the Power Optimal Elon 100 does is to put direct current electricity generated by solar photovoltaic modules directly into heating elements in standard electric geysers. That's it. It can be run fully off-grid or grid electricity can also be connected to the system as backup, for example on cloudy days or when using a lot of hot water. The number of solar modules you have installed will determine how much water you can heat from the sun. Why would you want to heat water with solar photovoltaic energy? Well, it's one of the most cost-effective options for heating water today. Solar PV modules last more than 30 years and have very low maintenance, so that the cost per unit of electricity called a kilowatt hour over the lifetime of the system is very low. In fact, if you compare it with what households in South Africa pay for grid electricity right now, it is already dramatically less. In 2019, the average price for a typical household in South Africa's four main metropolitan areas, Johannesburg, Tswane, Cape Town and Etiquini or Durban, is about 2 rand 14 per kilowatt hour. At current electricity prices, payback periods on an Elon 100 based system is 3 to 6 years, which means you should enjoy at least 25 years of free solar water heating after that. Your installer has installed a small power optimal Elon control unit in your house, usually by your electrical distribution board, which will look like this. There are two main aspects to note on the controller the mains and solar indicator lights, and the control dial. Let's look at what the indicator lights indicate. When the green light is on, your geyser is on temperature. In other words, the water is hot. It is at the temperature set on the thermostat, typically 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. When the green light is flashing, your water is being heated with solar power. When the red light is on, it means that there is mains power available to the Elon unit. When the red light is flashing, it means that your water is being heated with mains power. If either or both lights are flashing fast, it means that there is an isolation fault. You should then contact your electrician. If both lights are off, it means there is no power to the unit from any power source. This could be the case when there is a power failure and it is night time, or if you switched off the mains power to the geyser at your distribution board or DB and it is night time. It could also be the case where the mains power supply voltage is outside specifications, in which case the Elon switches off to protect your geyser. Let's look at what the control dial does. When the dial is set to mains only, that means it will be on mains power 24 hours a day and will never use solar power for heating. So it will work just like a standard geyser. Here's a 24 hour clock to help make the picture clear. A 24 hour clock has 24 hours indicated in a circle. Noon is at the top and midnight is at the bottom. With the setting on mains only, the system will use mains power 24 hours a day as indicated by the red color on the 24 hour clock. When you turn the dial to outside of the mains only zone, the Elon will start switching between mains and solar at different times of the day. Here's what happens if you turn the dial to setting 1. Now the Elon will switch off mains power and switch to solar power from about 8am in the morning until about 12pm or noon. Turning the dial to setting 2 increases the hours on solar power. Now the Elon will switch off mains and switch to solar at about 5.30 am and switch back to mains at about 2.30 pm. Turning the dial to around setting 3 increases the hours on solar power further. Now the Elon will switch off mains and switch to solar at about 3 am and switch back to mains at about 5 pm. Finally, Turning the dial to solar only will keep the system on solar power for 24 hours. In other words, it will never switch to mains power. 
You can run on solar power alone if you have sufficient solar panels on your roof for the number of people and the amount of hot water that you are using per day. See the user manual for more information about this. Here is a summary of the dial settings. Note that these are approximate times. The exact time it will switch varies slightly between seasons and from location to location. So why does the Elon switch to solar power early in the mornings before the sun is out? This is so that when you use hot water in the morning, for example for your morning shower, the geyser does not heat all the water up again with mains power. So the Elon switches off mains power quite early in the morning. This means that as you shower, cold water will start entering the geyser and by the time the sun comes up and the Elon starts heating the geyser with solar power, the geyser is below its set point temperature. Let's look at a simple animation. Here is a hot water tank fully heated overnight. Say it is 6 am and you take a shower. You have the Elon control dial set at position 2, which means that it switched off mains at about 5.30 am already. So mains power is already switched off. Now you take a shower and as you shower, cold water enters the geyser and it starts cooling down. Let's say that now you go to work or go do something else. The geyser stays at the temperature where it is because the Elon does not allow the mains power to come back on. When the sun comes up, the solar power starts heating the water. It will gradually heat the water over the whole day until the time that it switches back to mains power. In this case, it will switch to mains at about half past three in the afternoon. If the water is not hot yet at that time, it will use mains power to heat the last little bit. So when you get home at 5 or 6 pm, or when you take your evening shower, the water will be hot and you will be happy. How can I maximize my savings? The best way to maximize your savings is to set the Elon control dial just outside the solar only zone, in other words in the area marked 3. If you have enough solar panels, you might even set it on solar only and never use mains power. It's generally best to shower in the mornings to maximize savings. If you experience cold water somewhere in your daily routine, you can turn the control dial clockwise to reduce the solar hours until you are happy with the settings. Here are some general energy savings tips. Firstly, shower, don't bath. You use a lot less water like that. Secondly, install water saving or low flow shower heads. You can also reduce your shower duration. And lastly, check that your geyser is well insulated. And that brings us to the end of this short explainer video. I hope this has helped you understand how the Elon 100 works and wish you many years of free hot water from the sun.